The World Darts Championship, night one. Would it be a Brazilian evening for Diogo? Three words. Grab the Kleenex. Who do you fancy here? The Irishman, Dynamite Keenberry, or Captain Canada, Jeff Smith. And now playing The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, starring Snakebite, a who's who in Whoville, today on High Roller Radio. Yes, baby, bright lights, big city. This is the big one. According to Wikipedia, a man I respect greatly, the only major in darts, opening night of the world championship, London's biggest Christmas party. Don't get me going on the fan situation, but it's a party nonetheless. Day one tweeted Charlie Gray, who describes the championship as, quote, everyone's favorite during Christmas time, and I agree, pal. Remember, he says, there are no tie breaks this year. There will be upsets, though. First matches up, reported the Devonator. Christmas is here. The world championship is on. And then he added, gotta love the darts. Yes, you do. Love this from Darts Behind the Aki. Mary Dartsmiss it tweeted with the all-important question, who will be crowned world champion at the end of it all? With all that said, it is showtime, and what a better way to kick off a show than with the William Hill cheerleaders up there strutting their stuff Great to see. First man on stage at this year's championship, India's Amit Gilladwala unpacking his gear in advance of a showdown with Steve West. West, heavily favored, gives his opponent the thumbs up sign, seemingly confident for good reason, too. He outclassed Gilladwala in the first set and at 2 0 up on 48 tops, no problem. A 3 0 opening salvo and then some words for referee Russ Bray, something to do with the board, not exactly. Sure, what though? Steve West discusses everything, said Humpathetic, probably astrophysics. Gillett Walla did get on the board to start set two, but the westerly winds took over from there. The Englishman rattling off three straight for a two sets to none lead, and there was no let up. He ran away with a third set as well. Simply the West, your first winner at the Alley Pally this year, 3 nil your final. Our second fixture featured Diogo Portella and Steve Beaton, or as the demolition man refers to him as, the venerable master, Brazil, England, the most. Better start for Mr. Brazilian. Scored a break in leg three and then secured the first set in leg four. The 69 out, double 16. And look at this, raw emotion. It's called chasing your dream. One set to the good. And how about it? It was rinse and repeat in set two. After breaking in leg three, he wrapped it up in leg four, double four. And you think he was feeling it. Yes, he was. He was giving it some. The truth right here, though, from Richard Assen, both very edgy, he says, and more truth from Addicted on Sport. The Adonis has work to do down 2 nil. Will Brazilian win his first match at the Alley Pally? Well, with his confidence growing, he raced out in front 2-0 to start the third set, and you can see it here. He wanted it, and yes, he'd get it. Double nine divine, because look at this. Pure emotion pouring out of him. His first ever win at the World Championship, and oh my word, tissue, please, had me in tears. Look at this. The scintillating scenes of the world championship. KOs the bronze Adonis at love, and it all came flowing out. Darts is life. Proof right here. Lockdown has been a nightmare for me, he said, fighting back even more tears. I thought about quitting darts. This win is for me. I've got one more game, and you gotta love him. I hope he wins it all. And here, here to this from Kieran Fernie. Diogo Portella, he said... We love you. All right, a view from the rafters to start our third showdown. Canada, Ireland, Jeff Smith, Keenberry, and after dropping the first leg, the silencer put on his hockey skates and got to skating. He took the next three for a 1-0 lead, culminated by this double four, just poured some maple syrup all over it, 
That's how Canadians close out a set. Carried on in set two, went ahead 2-1 on his favorite double 18. And then in the decider, after Barry missed double 19 on the 158, he punched out 80 and 2, the clean kill. Two sets to the good. As Kirk Bevins belted it out, he was fist pumping all the way to the board. Big shot, big momentum at the interval. Third set, though, went to a decider. And this time, Barry had the darts. Calm and cool, the kids got game. Ton 40 here, and then the double, then the reaction. 18 years old and on top of the world. Kept it going in set four. More nice starts right here. How about some Canadian heart, though? Smith's celebration at 1-1 and then at 2-2 he'd seal the deal get that arm raised in victory sir terrific tilt the Canadian advances by a score of three sets to one he's a fantastic player Smith said I'm just thrilled to get through phew tweeted M Austin and I think it's fair to say that yes a few is in order. Jeff Smith, a classy player, said Henry Cheel. Knew he would win today. Good on him. Hope he has a good run. And then he added that he's happy for me as well. I appreciate that, my friend. But I wasn't playing. Just cheering him on like a madman. Hashtag Canada rocks. Our final showdown of the evening. And what in the world is this? The Grinch who stole Christmas? No, it's Snakebite Peter Wright auditioning for a Christmas blockbuster and playing the part well. Peter Wright is the Grinch, said Charlie Gray. Very funny. After saluting the fans, he went right to work. One, two, three, took the first set at love. Green beard and all. You gotta wonder if West was put off. I certainly was. One of the all-time great darts outfits right there. Wow. No change in set two. The Scotsman not playing great, but doing enough. This double ten for the stranglehold. Second set to the Grinch, reported the weekly darts cast. And this, my friends, is this darts real beard to be feared? Time will tell. Despite this stellar 144 checkout from Snakebite in set three and the celebration, simply the West took it down 3-1 to get on the board. Come back on? Well, no, because this double 10 sealed the deal. A beard like Shamrock Santa, an outfit like the Grinch, the victory too, like your reigning and defending champ, kicks off his campaign in style, a three sets to one winner on the costume. It's been a miserable year, he said. Cheer up, everybody. It's Christmas. So, there you go. Opening night at the Worlds in the books. A Brazilian, a Canadian, and a Scotsman all advance. There's more tomorrow. A double session, in fact. No time to dilly-dally. It's Christmas at the Alley Pally today on High Roller Radio.